is a mysterious ritual that dates back thousands of years. No living creature has survived it, except the penguin. They have wings, but cannot fly. They're birds that think they're fish. And every year, they embark on a nearly impossible journey to find a mate. For 20 days and 20 nights, the Emperor Penguin will march to a place so extreme, it supports no other life. In the harshest place on Earth, love finds a way. This is the incredible true story of a family's journey to bring life into the world. Ah, uh, yes. Penguin Cartwheel has finally been released. Three years later. There's two ways to install Penguin Cartwheel. One is through CTGP. The other which is the way I prefer, is through Revolution. Both have their pros and cons, but I would say they're basically equal, but Revolution is just that a little bit better. So I would recommend installing Revolution, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do everything. This is the only README you're going to find, is my voice. There will be no README in this download at all. No text file you'll have to read. I would advise just listening to me. Can't be that hard. Also, Make sure you join the Penguin Cartwheel Discord server. The link will be in the description. It will probably be the worst Discord server you will ever join. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. So on the computer here, obviously you're going to need to download Penguin Cartwheel. So here's the page you're going to want to go to. It's in the description. Be labeled as Penguin Cartwheel. It'll, le it'll link you to uh, the Mega website. All you'll have to do is click the download button. I mean, it's not that hard. Anyway, Penguin Cart right now is here. It's downloaded. You can just click here, show in folder, go to your downloads folder. You should know where you downloaded it. So here it is, Penguin Cart It went in my downloads folder. All you have to do is double click it and it'll open. And here is what is contained in it. Now we're gonna go ahead and do CTGP first so if you want to play it in CTGP you can you can do both it's up to you on your SD card here I would uh, right click it and uh, open it in new window so now we have the SD card on the left side penguin cut we on the right side you want to double click CTGPR and in here you have two things you have the my stuff folder and then an option would be the music pack so you can choose to use the music you don't have to use the music it can kind of get annoying you'll see what I mean if you try it out on your SD card you can open up your CTGPR folder and you'll most likely already have a my stuff folder if you have textures already now if you do not want to overwrite your textures just click once on your my stuff folder right click go down to rename and just rename it my stuff and just put old that way you can copy this over you can delete it and then you can just rename your old my stuff folder back to my stuff and you have all your old textures back if you decide that you absolutely hate these penguins and you apps and it's just absolutely driving you crazy so you can go ahead and drag over it drag over this my stuff folder into your CTGPR folder on your SD card it's gonna copy over all the files it has copied over now on your SD card you want to double click open up my stuff folder and here are all the files in the download folder you can go ahead and open the music pack and you got all the music files. All you gotta do is just just go ahead and drag it. That's probably the easiest. Just drag it all the way down like that. And then you just have to copy that over to your My Stuff. Now your files might not look like this. It might not have this armor helmet thing or it might not have this little 
vice or this cone. They might just be all blank files. That's completely fine. Now, if you want to delete it, I would go in this view and I would sort to where all the BRSTM files are on the top. And if you want to delete it, all you have to do is just highlight all of them. Just the BRSTM files and then you can delete it. That way you will not have the music pack anymore if it gets on your nerves. But I'll go ahead and keep it in there because I love it. Now we're done, you can go ahead and go back out, back out. You can go ahead and close it, close it. You can eject your SD card, head over to your Wii or Wii U, whatever you have CTGPR installed on. All right, so here we are on the Wii menu. So after moving the My Stuff folder into the CTGPR folder, you can go to your CTGP Revolution channel or launch it through however you launch it. Click start. Let it boot up here. Let me go over what's in this pack and what's not in this pack compared to Revolution. You've got all 32 in Nintendos are textured. Now we only have two penguins on every track. There is the Mario Kart Wii style penguin that is waving at you and in the Twitter emoji version of the penguin emoji. You do not have text. No text has been altered. It's all original. Also battle. There is no battle because battle doesn't work in CTGP. You can get online. You can play worldwide. You can play custom track worldwide with the uh, custom music, but uh, everything works. So countdown will work. Item rain works. So if you go to your settings here, you want custom tracks on. If you turn them off, your menus are going to look a little glitchy. Still playable. Nothing's going to crash. It's just going to be glitchy. So I'd recommend keeping them on. And the My Stuff folder, obviously, you're going to want to keep it that on. After we hit B, we can go ahead and launch the game. All right, here we are. Penguin Kart Wii. So, like I said, you can do anything you want. You can go back to the CTGPR channel. You can do Wii Fi 1 player, 2 player, multiplayer. Single player, I'll go into single player for now. And just to show that all the cup icons are textured. So all of them, all the original and all the custom tracks. So uh, I really hope someone can uh, learn where all the tracks are, which all the cups, because I personally have no idea. Let me know which picture is your favorite because I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, come on now. Like I said, I've been working on this pack for a solid three years non-stop, baby. This is top tier, best pack, all right? No joke. Now, up next, you got the Revolution install, Read Me, or Listen to Me. If you want to go ahead and skip that and watch the preview of all tracks and the battle tracks, there is a time on your screen right now. You can go ahead and skip to it or click the timestamp in the description to skip to the preview at the end. All right, so if you are using Revolution, you wanna screw the CTGPR pack, and you just wanna get the Revolution, I don't blame you. The Revolution one is way better. It's so much easier, highly recommend this version. It can be done on Wii, Wii U, you can have it, you can use an SD card or a USB stick. If you do not have Revolution installed, it is freaking super easy to install. All you have to do is head over to this link, which, will be in the description. It will link you to webrew.org we and it's the Revolution page. You just click the download over here, download it, extract it to your SD card, open the homebrew channel, Revolution will be in there, you launch it, it's done. Now after you have Revolution installed, you're going to want to download Penguin Cart Wii, which will be this link, it's, uh, it's the mega link, mega.nz, link in the description. You want to click this, download button. I'm not going to click it. I already have it like downloaded like five times. It's very small. You won't even notice it's in your SD card. Anyway, we can minimize this. Go back to our desktop. We can go ahead and open up our downloads folder. That's most likely where Penguin Cart Wii would have downloaded. So after you open that up, this is going to be what you have. We'll move this over to the side. And on our SD card here, I'll go ahead and right click this and open a new window just to make everything easier. I would recommend doing this too. Here we have our SD card on our left and our Penguin Cart Wii download folder on our right. So in here we have a codes folder, the CTGPR folder, Penguin Cart Wii folder, and the Revolution folder. 
Now, if you do not want to have the CTGP version of Penguin Cart Wii, you can just go ahead and delete it from here. I don't care. It's your download. We can just go ahead and delete it. So, you might already have a codes folder on your SD card. If you do, I'd recommend clicking on it, right click, rename, and just name it codes old. That way you don't overwrite anything. You might not want to overwrite. All right, now to get Penguin Cart Wii. There's nothing that's gonna overwrite anything. Now let's extract actual Penguin Cart Wii to the SD card. All you have to do is highlight everything in this zip folder. Give it a second and drag it over. All right, so it has moved everything over to the SD card. We're now ready to close out of these windows, eject your SD card, put it into your Wii or Wii U, all right, so here we are on the Wii menu. Now, I've got Revolution installed, so I'm going to click on it and click Start. All right, for you, when you load it, everything might be enabled, everything might be disabled, but I will go over all the settings. All right, so Penguin Cart Wii, you're going to want this enabled, the back model. This will change how the flag looks during, like, voting. The stopwatch on time trial is edited, the flag is edited, and the balloon is edited. But this setting is only going to change the flag. So you got penguin falling. You got blue, you got gray, you got green, you got orange, you got purple, you got red, and then that's it. So I like penguin falling. It's, it's the best, but you can experiment with all of them. Music. Enable it, disable it. Penguin music is enabled. Disabled is disabled in case you're in preschool we'll go ahead and enable that wmfi if you want wmfi on or off this is how you do it if you're in america north america you know mexico anything like that ntsc u basically you want to leave it on ntsc u if you're in europe or a pal you select pal if you're in japan or ntsc j you would select this now, if you select the wrong version, the game's not going to load. So we're going to leave it on NTSC U so we can get on Wi-Fi. Speedometer, I would just leave this on because it has to be on. You either disable it or enable it from the last setting. If you leave this enabled but then disable this, it's not going to work. This is just my poor coding. I'm sorry, I don't really know how to code. So the speedometer, the speedometer only works in America. It replaces the milliseconds on the time. I, no joke, spent about a day trying to get the CTGP speedometer to work. Someone who's smarter than me could probably do it in about like 20 minutes and know what they're doing, but I do not, so this is the best I can do. But uh, what's more important in this code is you can change characters online just by hitting plus, just like you can in CTGP. And that works well all versions that this pack comes with. Now you do have a custom, well you got a custom strap screen unlike CTGP. You got custom tech, you can easily enable the music, you can get online, you know, everything works basically. Everything just like normal Mario Kart Wii except for the Mario Kart channel. It's not gonna crash or anything. It'll load the Mario Kart channel. It won't be Penguin 5 though. And also what this version has, unlike CTGP, is battle mode. Battle mode actually works. All the tracks are textured. I'd say tracks, I'm sorry. That's probably very offensive to the battlers. They're courses. Like CTGP, there are only two penguins, two version of penguins. You got the penguin waving, like you can see on the top of the screen, and the Twitter emoji style penguin. And they all have custom icons, so does CTGP. There's a lot to this pack. I mean, come on, guys. It took me three years to do this. You can get online. You can play worldwide. You can play regional. It's just going to work with the region that you're in. You can join front rooms. Mm, yeah, so that's it to my listen to me. I hope that was much better than listening to some or reading some boring ass read me. And I'll see you guys on the stream. If you want to find penguins, down you go to the bottom of the earth at the South Pole. Antarctica is the place where you find the most penguins taking up space.
Penguins have wings, but they cannot fly. They like to swim and sometimes slide. The most classic thing that they like to model is the way they do their penguin waddle. Moving my flippers up and down. Look at me, I'm a penguin now. An aquatic bird who just can't fly. You won't find me up in the sky. A penguin fact you don't want to miss. These birds lay eggs, they're oviparous. The egg stays warm on daddy's feet while the mommy swings and finds food to eat. The daddies huddle together to stay warm. They've got to stay close until their babies are born. The egg stays cozy with a pouch of skin. Keeping it warm, that's incubation. Moving my flippers up and down. Look at me, I'm a penguin now. An aquatic bird who just can't fly. You won't find me up in the sky. When it comes to food, penguins get their fill. They like to eat fish, they like to eat krill. But the baby needs the mommy to go into the ocean to find some food below. She brings it back to feed the chick. Now check out this other disgusting trick. The strangest of all food presentations. She can feed her chick through regurgitation. Moving my flippers up and down. Look at me, I'm a penguin now. An aquatic bird who just can't fly. You won't find me up in the sky. Who is the biggest species of them all? The emperor stands about four feet tall. And if he doesn't want to become another's meal, he should avoid that leopard seal. One last thought about penguin form. There's one last trick to keep their bodies warm. If you look at their bodies undercover, there's a layer of fat that people call blubber. Moving my flippers up and down. Look at me, I'm a penguin now. An aquatic bird who just can't fly. You won't find me up in the sky.
the hills and far away. Mother penguin said, quank, 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 but only two baby penguins came back. That's not done. One, two. Two baby penguins went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother penguin said, quank, 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 but only one baby penguin came back. Something is wrong. One, one baby penguin went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother penguin said.